Hi guys, Barry from Cobb vs Glass here. I'm just going to be doing a really quick video on uh, some new apps that were released for Android recently, uh, and that is the new Google Sheets and Google Docs applications. Now, the reason why I'm doing a quick video on this is because we've had uh, a couple of comments and questions um, saying that they're a bit confused as to why Google did this because previously before these apps were released the Google Drive application was able to create and edit those documents within the Google Drive application now they've separated the functionality out into their own individual respective apps now the only rationale I can think for behind why they want to do this is to push Google applications a lot more um, to push the Google Drive application a lot more um, but if you actually think about it rationally um, this isn't actually a really bad idea the kind of metaphor that I use for it is if you look at what Apple is doing with their uh, document creation tools on iPhone at the moment you can get document creation tools in their individual apps you can get pages you can get numbers you can get keynote and these are individual apps that allow you to edit just those types of uh, documents within those respective apps it's kind of like if Apple now went and released an application that allowed you to search through your iCloud storage in a file structure manner um, Google's just kind of doing it the other way around. They've already got an application that allows you to look through the folder structure of your Google Drive and look at the files. Now they've actually released separate applications that allow you to actually do the editing. And really this isn't such a big deal because if you imagine that Google Drive isn't just for storing Google documents, it can store any type of file you want. So if you think about it like this, that the Google Drive application is to allow you to browse your Google Drive folders for any file types you want, pictures, Word documents, Microsoft Word documents, and so on. And then if you actually want to use Google documents, uh, Google Sheets, Google Spreadsheets, then you use the respective applications to do that. So I actually don't think this is a really bad idea. From what I can see, the applications themselves don't give you extra editing functionality. It literally is the functionality pulled out of Drive into their own apps. Um, but again, I still don't think it's that bad of an idea. Let me know what you guys think and if you think they should have done this and um, where you think this puts Google uh, in terms of their applications on their phones and increasing the amount of applications that come from Google themselves um, and perhaps taking away functionality from, from other third party makers of apps that do similar things. Um, so anyway, this is just a quick one from me, Barry from Copper vs Glass, and I'll check you guys in the next video.